Drinking protein shakes every day might sound like a fast track to gains, but here's the truth. It can completely backfire if you're not careful. Let's dive into the positive and negative changes you can expect, plus some common questions about when and how to take your protein supplements. When you start drinking protein shakes every day, the first thing that happens is an increase in muscle protein synthesis. In fact, studies show that if you consume daily protein shakes and also strength train, you can see 30 to 100% higher muscle protein synthesis. Protein is the building block of muscles, so it directly stimulates muscle growth. According to research, consuming around 20 to 25 grams of protein after resistance training maximizes muscle protein synthesis, which leads to quicker muscle recovery and growth. More than that is either oxidized and used as energy or eliminated through urine. Another key change you'll experience is improved muscle recovery. After intense workouts, your muscles undergo micro tears that need to be repaired. Protein shakes help speed up that repair process. This helps you get back to your workouts quicker, but more importantly, your muscles will actually be more prepared to adapt and grow stronger with each session. Plus, protein helps keep your immune system strong, preventing you from breaking down when pushing your body to its limits. A 2015 study proved this. Its participants were basketball players split into a nutrition group who took protein and a control group who didn't. The study found that whey protein reduces fatigue and boosts performance because it increases the levels of key markers in the blood, like hemoglobin and red blood cells. These markers are critical for oxygen delivery to working muscles. Basically, they had more oxygen for energy production during exercise, which delayed the onset of fatigue. Besides, the athletes had more oxygen delivered to the muscles after exercise, so they could recover faster and sustain higher performance levels. Besides, protein shakes boost your metabolism and help with weight management. Protein requires more energy to digest than fats or carbs, which means your body burns more calories just by processing it. Research shows that protein has a higher thermic effect on the body of up to 35%, whereas fat and carbs barely get to 15%. And this is what helps increase your daily calorie expenditure by up to 100 calories per day. Besides, protein helps in fat loss but also keeps you feeling full for longer. As a result, drinking a protein shake in the morning or as a snack can help prevent overeating and keep your calorie intake in check. So, those are the good changes you can notice in your body if you drink one protein shake per day. Now let's look at the bad changes you can notice. One common issue is overconsumption, which can lead to excess calorie intake. Many protein shakes, especially pre-made ones, contain added sugars and fats, bumping up the calorie count. If you're not paying attention, this can result in weight gain rather than muscle building. Another downside is that relying too heavily on protein shakes can displace other important nutrients. Whole foods like lean meats, fish, eggs, and beans offer a broad range of vitamins, minerals, and fiber you can't find in protein shakes. So if you're drinking them as a meal replacement, you will miss out on that nutritional diversity. Besides, people with pre-existing kidney issues should be careful because excess protein can increase the kidney's workload. That means it can potentially worsen your existing conditions. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider if you have any concerns about how much protein is right for you. Also, some people experience digestive discomfort from protein shakes, especially if they contain lactose or artificial sweeteners. Bloating, gas, and constipation or even diarrhea are common side effects. If that's you, try switching to plant-based protein powders or lactose-free versions. That said, people always ask me some common questions regarding protein shakes, so let's take them one at a time to clarify. One typical issue people have is whether it's safe to drink protein shakes every day. The answer is that for most people, it's perfectly safe, and it's in fact also a convenient way to meet your daily protein requirements, especially if you're busy or doing a hypertrophy program. The problem is not overdoing it and not replacing entire meals with protein shakes in the long run. And it's good not to fall into the other trap of becoming too religious about your protein shakes. Just yesterday, someone asked me if missing one day of protein shakes would ruin their progress. The short answer is no. Your body doesn't rely on a single day of protein intake to build muscle or recover from workouts. Protein's effect is cumulative over time, so missing a day won't have a significant impact. However, consistently skimping on protein could slow down your recovery and muscle-building efforts. Just aim to meet your protein needs as consistently as possible across the week. 
You would also wonder if you need to drink protein shakes on your rest days. The answer here is yes as well, because muscle recovery happens not just during workouts, but also in the 24 to 48 hours after. Protein on rest days helps repair and build muscle tissue, even if you're not actively training. People also often wonder how much protein they should get from shakes per day. This depends on your goals, but for most individuals, 20 to 25 grams per shake is a good amount, depending on how much protein you're getting from other food sources. Remember that the recommended amount of protein is 1.4 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight if your goal is muscle gain. But you shouldn't drink all that in one go, rather split it throughout the day. That brings me to the next point. Another frequent question I hear is whether you need to drink protein shakes right after a workout. While it was once believed that there's a narrow, anabolic window where you need to consume protein immediately post-workout, recent research shows that timing isn't as critical as once thought. As long as you get enough protein throughout the day, you'll still see gains. As for me, personally, I prefer to still stick to a semblance of an anabolic window and get a meal within 30 minutes to an hour max after working out. So, that's my take on protein shakes. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments if you're drinking protein shakes every day or you're just thinking about starting. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it, share it with someone who might benefit, and most importantly, subscribe to the FitnessD channel. Your support really means a lot. In fact, it's what helps this channel grow and keeps the content coming. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.